In this video, I will be talking about applications from the development community. Okay. So, when you develop an application, there are two types of communities and development. Okay. You have the centralized community. So, the product, it is made by the developers from their perspective, from uh, an art engineering point of view. So, the application here is better, it has more features, more flexibility, good licensing, but it is dependent on the community of the product. An example for this is all the open source community, open source products. Okay. All the open source products are products that are based on the community and community driven solutions and products. Okay. The values are that it is might come free, might come with a surprise, but the challenges are it is always have um, not an easy support. So their support standards and support reachability is not that good. So if you are an expert, you will not have a problem. But if you are not an expert, you will face difficulties because community-based Solutions or applications are always lacking better support. Okay. So on the other hand, you have decentralized applications. Now, decentralized applications are made from the point of view of managers. Okay. Decentralized applications are always successful on reaching more clients and reaching the end user in, a, in an easy and better way, especially when it comes to after sale support. If you are a guy who, who is not an expert on this field and you want to have good support, it means you need to go to decentralized applications. Some of the examples of decentralized applications are Microsoft Words. This company is a business based company. Uh, they are famous for being the best support and uh, so far even in the operating system, their operating system is the best supported and the best outside. 